welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's art tip is about a new product that we're introducing that I'm excited about and I wanted to show you so that you get kind of a feel for how cool these are. We have gotten in a whole line of Alibaba art books or art sketchbooks. They come in a wide variety of sizes and shapes and stuff, but these are really interesting, mostly because of the construction and the variety and just kind of how beautiful they are. One, they come in like a ton of different cover art designs. And so there's a whole bunch of them to choose from and they're all really, really beautiful and unique. The other thing is, is how loaded these books are. There's 240 pages of a heavyweight sketch paper uh, in each and every one of these. And they also have kind of um, a unique characteristic where they're, it's kind of like a ivory sheet, but the ivories are different. So kind of read the descriptions online if you're interested. Um, and then also we have a variety where it's um, interlaced with stacks of black or ivory paper. So you can work with like um, ink on ivory or, you know, even metallics on black and stuff like that. So that's a really interesting combination, but 240 sheets for the, the price that these are offered at is really, really wonderful. But the other thing that I wanted to show you is that the spines are really different in these in that they are basically signature bound with linen thread. So they're actually like stitched together. So this will be a book that you wouldn't be, you know, tearing pages out because then it's going to affect you know, 14 or 15 pages behind it and stuff like this. But the pages are really, really heavyweight, but because of the way that they're stitched together, this lies nice and flat. You're not having to manipulate it or bend the cover around um, overly, and it's really, really cool. So I wanted to show you a little bit about how tough the paper is and how much it can do. So um, have a look-see and see what you think. Right now, I'm just kind of oh, laying some heavy color in. Um, but the cool thing is that generally with a sketchbook, um, you know, you're dealing with the fact that like we've already used like three or four layers of paint pen on this. And we've already got an ink layer down that when we would start scrubbing and really really pressing some color into this it would start to peel or um start to peel up and this paper is tough enough where like you can see i'm not being overly kind or gentle to it it'll do kind of whatever you want it to do and uh and work out just fine 
we're going to continue to kind of keep throwing stuff on it and just see what it does so you so you guys can get a feel for like how versatile it is actually i'm just using some plain old prismacolor because the color is so immediate and easy to layer on to other stuff because of the wax base in it so we're able to kind of play around and put extra stuff onto it whereas another you know another colored pencil will take a little bit longer to build we don't want that we want just kind of like really really raw color on on this that's why the Christmas color is kind of fun in this instance. Um, it's a hundred, a uh, hundred grams. Um, so it's equivalent to like, a, like an 80 pound, I believe. But as you can see, it's not, it's not buckling. It's not warping and we can just keep building and building and building more stuff. Now granted this sketch is a little erratic and all over the place, but it's a sketch folks. Not the end of the world. We can just play and do whatever we want to do and we can uh, go back and tone some of this down right here we've got the initial sketch was with pigma micron and we've got um posca pen on top of that we've got gel pen on top of that and now we're adding more colored pencil on top of that so as you can see we are not at all like inhibited by um you know what this paper will or won't do it kind of will do whatever you want um so let's just get even weirder since we can I'm gonna shake this up. So as you can see, we've got multiple layers of stuff on here and it just works. And that's kind of what you want. You don't want to be inhibited by having to think about your material. You want to just be able to play and know that it's going to do what you want it to do. And uh, that's what this does. So uh, if you haven't tried an Ali Babette, sketchbook they are fantastic they are definitely worth the investment a lot of great paper here and lots of fun to work with so if you haven't tried one pick one up and we're sure you